Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms and uh, been a little behind on some work. I've had a couple products uh, sent to me to try out, which, you know, I always love uh, uh, finding new things. A lot of them are little gadgets and uh, chainsaws and stuff that I end up using a lot around the farm. And uh, a lot of them are animal related. And we just picked up uh, some peafowl yesterday, a male and a female. And we're building a big pen. And I had a company reach out to me, and I've had this for about a week, and just really haven't been able to get around to do a video. Here, I'll, I'll uh, turn the camera around real quick. And uh, we'll pull it out of the Amazon, or I guess this is an Amazon package, is it? I don't know. So this is straight from the company. But Grub Terra Black Soldier Fly Larva. Uh, it's chicken, poultry food, so this is good for fish, for birds, for reptiles. And uh, got an email from them just uh, oh, a couple weeks back. Said, hey, would you be interested in trying this? Uh, all we ask is uh, you make a video and give us your honest opinion. I'm not being paid by them. But uh, yeah, I love my animals. So we're going to try it out, see you know, what the animals uh, think of it. And it's perfect timing because we just got these peafowl the other day. And I've got a captive audience, usually a lot of my animals free range. When I first get birds in at the farm, I keep them locked up for about a week or two to make sure they're always going in the coop at night. And we've been having a, having a big predator problem this summer. I think we finally got it taken care of. But since we lost our uh, one peacock we'd had forever, which raccoons rarely get peacocks, uh, we're building a huge enclosure, which hopefully by the end of this week should have it, at least the enclosure done. We still got to build the housing in there and all that. And, uh, uh, but enough that we'll be able to kind of move them in, get them some shade in there and go from there. But while I got them pinned up, we're going to see what they think of this. Also, uh, I've got a couple of turtles that are pets. The, uh, cage is due to be clean. So, you know, bear with me. It's, it's a little dirty, but. I haven't fed them yet today. I usually feed them about this time of the morning. So we're going to see what the turtles think of this, and then we'll go and see what the birds think of it. All right, so this is my turtle tank in the house. And uh, it's due for cleaning about every three months. We take it out and clean it real good for them. You see the little guys in there? There's two of them. These were actually ones that were in a swimming pool that we were getting ready to open up for the year and shock real heavy and we happened to see them. They were about the size of a dime and we've got about 10 years. But uh, we're gonna drop a little bit of this in. Hey buddy. Usually we give them floating turtle food but also uh, we'll give them cantaloupe and watermelon and strawberries from the garden. Definitely a hit from the turtles. Oh, here comes the other one. I think he just realized... Uh... Hey, buddy. But Sheldon and Shelly are turtles. We definitely didn't waste any time going for them. Let's go outside and see what the birds think. All right, so we're in the pen here. Let's throw a little of these down, see if they come to them. Well, well one chicken's found them. A few more, oh, here we go. What'd you guys think? Guineas in here too. Definitely a hit. I'll do my latch here. Go in, get a little closer. The uh, peafowl a little skittish right now. Uh, I mean, they'll actually kind of go up, let you kind of pet them on the back a little bit, but they are uh, they just came in, had the whole transition, so. 
take some of this out and toss it to them. Hey guys, hey, hey, what you think? Are you guys still a little, uh, a little freaked out from your uh, move? Oh, here we go, here we go. That's one thing, too. I like to find treats for, uh, treats for some of our birds, especially the peacocks. Because like get them to where they can come up and they'll start eating out of your hand. That's what our last guy would do. And uh, this is a good way to start. Get in there, give them some treats like this, let them know that, uh, you know, when you come in, you see bags. Usually I'll put the uh, treats or their food in uh, like a red Folgers plastic coffee can. Just because when they see that bright red can, everybody comes running at me. Sometimes that's a bad thing, especially with the goats when you've got 10, 15 goats all come uh, running at you at once. And now they're starting to warm up to that a little bit. Just had to figure out what it was. So definitely an inst instant hit with the turtles. Took a little warming up for the peacocks, but peafowl, but again, like I said, they just had a uh, hour long drive in the back of a pickup last night in a new home, so it's going to take them a little bit, but it looks like now they, uh, well, looks like he likes them. And this stuff's good, looking at their uh, website, it's basically, uh, they grow these in food waste, so, you know, it's good for the environment. It uh, cuts down on uh, food waste in landfills as well. Uh, you know, package says not for human consumption, and those allergic to shellfish may be sensitive to them. Uh, you know, I've eaten my share of bugs, uh, you know, especially being in the military and traveling the world. I've, I've eaten my share of bugs. I can't say I've ever eaten uh, black soldier fly or black soldier fly larva. And I think I'll leave this to the birds and to the to the reptiles as it is right now, you know, but, uh, uh, but yeah, it's good protein. It's a good treat to give them. I'm going to put a link to the website in the comments and, uh, I'll see if there's any, uh, easier places, uh, to pick these up like Amazon or Chewy. If any of those, uh, carry this, if they do, I'll put a link to that as well. But, But yeah, I think I found a new treat for the for them. Here you go, guys. Want some more? It's Matt from McGee Farms. If you like the videos, please consider uh, giving us a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leaving us a comment. If you got questions about anything that I ever do or any projects that uh, I got going on, things I'm reviewing, leave me a comment or the email for McGee Farms is in the About section of our page. I always try to answer any comments that have questions in them or any emails, and I'm always, uh, always love uh, hearing feedback. Till next time, have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're uh, watching this from, whatever time it is. Till next time, it's Matt from McGee Farms.